Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and welcome to 2016. This is my first video of the year, and I'm super excited. I am filming what else but a super simple, no makeup kind of look, and I've simplified it even further this time. I'm just using three products, count that, one, two, three products to get this look done. This is something that I do not just on days when I wake up late or I'm running out of time, but also when I'm having a really good skin day and I want to show it off. I'm just going to use three products to correct and brighten and make everything look a little bit more put together. My first tip when it comes to a look like this or not wearing makeup at all is wear a color that looks really good on you. Make sure that you are choosing a top in a color or a pattern or a collection of colors that makes your skin look bright. I really love this color that I'm wearing because I think it really makes my eyes stand out, but just choose a color that looks good on you. My next tip is make sure that you're choosing products that blend really seamlessly into your skin. We're not going to be using any foundation today, so you want to make sure that you're choosing products that are going to blend in and match the texture of the skin really well. The first product I'm going to use is Touche Cla from YSL. This is a very lightweight, sheer, brightening concealer, and I'm using it in a shade that very closely matches my skin tone. I didn't pick one that was too light or too bright because it's not going to give you much coverage that way, and I'm just going to start by applying this under my eyes and all up into this inner corner. I'm going to apply a little bit just in the outer corners of my eye, around my nose, and then just a little bit anywhere that is a little bit red or that I have a spot. And I'm gonna blend all of that in with my fingers and layer for additional coverage. And that is product number one. If you need a little bit more coverage, you could use a foundation and then just layer up the foundation on areas that you need more coverage. Now for lip and cheek, I'm gonna use a cream product that is for both. This is from Stila. This is one of their convertible cream colors in the shade Lilium, and it's just a very neutral, kind of soft, pinky color. And I'm just gonna warm the product up with my middle finger and kind of take a little bit of the excess off on the back of my hand and then begin to press that right onto the apple of the cheek quite high up. If you're naturally very red, you could definitely skip this step. Make sure you blend this really, really well. You don't want obvious round cheeks of blush. You really want to blend it in and make sure it's very soft and well worked into the skin. And I'm taking a small amount of that same product on my lip. Last up for me is brows. Today I'm actually going to use something different. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde and this super tiny brush from Sonia Kashuk. So for this, I'm not coloring back and forth or drawing long, sweeping lines. I'm really kind of pressing down and flicking the brush away in sort of the direction of the hair growth because I want to kind of add in hairs to the sparser areas. So potentially this should look very very natural. And with the brows on and completed, that is the finished look. It's very simple, very natural. Most people probably wouldn't even notice that you're wearing anything. It's just enough to kind of brighten around the eye, define the brow, it's a little bit of color on the cheek so it's gonna bring that life back to your skin, especially if you're feeling dull. But yeah, I just really love this look and I figured this would be a good way to start the year. I hope you all enjoyed this and I really can't wait for you to see all of the great things that I have coming up for you this year. Um, I have a few collabs that I'm working on that I'm super excited about and I hope that you all enjoy them. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you can be here to see all of that stuff coming up this year. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me what you want to see next. Open up my description box so that you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. The last three of those are all at John John Talks, and I will see you all next time. Bye. I really need to dry, and this you can feel in your pores the like chill of the tea tree oil, and I really like that. I feel really really cleansed afterwards. Um